I'll share with you the story, The Rat and the Porcupine. Once upon a time, there is a rat. Among his peers, he was known as Big Rat. Big Rat considered himself privileged, for Big Rat owned two holes. He had a home in the low-lying areas. He had a home in the higher areas. And this home in the higher areas was built up on a mount. Big Rat looked up at the sky. And up above, he could see thick black rain clouds. And Big Rat knew that it was going to rain. And his home, the one that was built up on a mountain in the higher areas was his safe harbor whenever clouds came. So Big Rat hurried to his home in the higher areas to double check his stock of food. When he got there, he found he needed more food. And so, Back and forth he went, gathering seeds, succulent stems and leaves and fruit, stocking up. Once he was satisfied that he had stocked up, he rat rested, watching the plane below. Soon the rain came. It was a downpour. The water level rose and rose. Big Rat watched and said this. His homes, trees, logs were violently carried away by the vicious flood. Then Big Rat did. He heard a cry for help, and rolling, and stumbling, and among the debris and being carried away by the flood was occupying. Safety, please! Big Black felt sorry for him. From the safety of his home, he got a long stick. And porcupine grabbed this stick for dear life while Big Rat pulled him into the safety of his home. And once inside, porcupine went down on his knees, thanked Big Rat for saving his life. We have enough room and food for the two of us to last us the duration of the flood. You can stay till the flood starts. Big Rat said. And so, Porcupine stayed. And the two shared succulent stems, leaves, fruit, seeds. Outside, the rain continued to lash and lash. The foodstuffs in Rat's garden were fast diminishing. Occupying. All of a sudden, from nowhere, pushed out his wheels, which were as sharp as needles, taking up so much space in that car. Now Big Rat was now held in a corner, unable to move. After a moment of 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.